The three lectures delivered by the service chiefs are geared towards impacting knowledge and develop skills of selected military and civilian officers to ensure a firm understanding of the essential factors that impact on national security. This college has been tasked to research into alternative funding for the Nigerian Armed Forces. In his lecture titled, Nigerian Army, Challenges and Future Perspectives, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai, noted that inadequate budgetary provision accounts for the inadequate logistics and weapons, which tends to slow the tempo of most operations. To address arising challenges, the Army, he said, established the Nigerian Army Resource Center. The Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, in his lecture on the future of the Nigerian Air Force, explained that the Air Force doctrine is contained in operational concept of active defense for the engagement. The vision of the force, he said, is to be repositioned into a highly professional force for effective and efficient timely employment of air power in response to national security. While noting that the Nigerian Navy was barely equipped when it was called to action during the Civil War in 1967, the formation made considerable contribution to the prosecution of the war. This was explained by the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Ibok Ite Ebas, represented by Chief of Policy and Plans, Rear Admiral Jacob Ajani, who noted that the nation's vast maritime space has made the available ships and helicopters inadequate